Hey everyone, Eugene here, back with another production tip for Tom Lee Music. Today, we're going to be talking about how to EQ and compress with just your microphone. So for those of you who are not familiar with what compression is, basically it is reducing the dynamic range between the loudest parts and the quietest parts. For a quick example, if a human being is playing a snare, there will be times where they'll hit the snare a little bit too loud and a little bit too quiet. What a compressor does is for all the times that he hits the snare a little bit too loud, it pushes it down just a little bit. And for all the times that he hits a little bit too quiet, compressors will bring that volume back up. That way, when using gentle compression, you can make a performance go from sloppy to clean. So how do you compress with a microphone? You can experiment by having a friend talk really close to your ear and at a very, very quiet volume. Even at that quiet volume, because there's no air gap for the voice to travel through, it goes straight to your eardrums and it hurts. After doing that, tell your friend to back off a couple inches away from your ear and say the same thing at the exact same volume. You will find that the tone is a lot more even and a lot more easy on your ears. This phenomenon is described as air compression. So why is this so important when using microphones? What happens is when they're going really, really hard at the mic, all their S's and T's and, and Explosives tend to overload the microphone, causing distortion and all kinds of nasty nasal artifacts. So first things first, back off your microphone. By how much? For condenser microphones, I would say 5 to 10 fingers if you can, and double that up. That way, you will get a very smooth performance free of resonant and harsh peaks. For a dynamic style microphone, I would say 3 fingers or 5 fingers would be the sweet spot. But as I always say, trust your ears. The second microphone tip is how to EQ with a microphone. Most people will point the microphone straight at the mouth. But if you drop it down a little bit angle-wise, you will get a little bit of chest resonance depending on the feel that you're going for. If you're going for a more silky, airy kind of tone, you can tilt the microphone up towards your head and it'll give you a little bit more head and air voice. This will give you a little bit of an edge to cut through the song. So the main differences between tilting your microphone down or tilting it up is either you want to push through a dense arrangement or you want to soar high and cut above everything. So before we go, I will leave you with one advanced tip, and that is combining microphone EQ and compression techniques. First, find an angle for the microphone that serves the song the best. Say, for example, it may be a resonant voice that you're going for. Now pull the microphone away from your voice until you get the right amount of compression without losing too much of the dynamics or catching too much of the room sound. Again, every room is different, every setup, every mic, and every vocalist is different as well. So it's totally up to you guys to experiment. But that being said, I'd like to pass the floor on to you guys. What are some of your microphone techniques that you like to use on the regular? And that's it for today, folks. Microphone EQ and compression. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for every time we release a video like this that could be a potential game changer for you. And until next time, my name is Eugene. I'm with Tom Lee Music, and we'll see you on the next one.